In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can get multiple slicer items filtered using the text treat as function. But before going into this one, we are also going to discuss about concatenate x dex function as well as treat as dex function. So, what are these two dex functions? It's very necessary to know before going into today's video. So, I'm going to explain you first both of these functions. So when we talked about the concatenate tax tax function, its definition says it evaluates the expression for each row on the table, then returns the concatenation for those values in single string result, separated by the specific delimiter, and it's a text tax function. On your screen, you can see its syntax. Its syntax is pretty simple, where you have to write first the dex function name, then your table, expression, and the delimiter. Also, you can put your order by expression, order, and so on. So over here, table is the iterator, the table containing the rows for which the expression will be evaluated. If we talked about the expression over here, it's your row context. So these expression to be evaluated for each row of the table. Delimiter is your optional parameter. Over here, the delimiter to be concatenated with the expression. And when we talked about the order by expression, it's your row context. And it's also an optional repeatable parameter or your attributes. It is expression to be used for sorting the table. And then order, whether you want to make it ascending, descending, or true or false likewise you can use it over here so this is about this concatenate x dex function now we are going to talk about the treat as dex function when we talk about the treat as dex function which is your table manipulation dex function this function is basically treats the column of the input table as column from other tables for each column filters out any values that are not present in its respective output column. I'm gonna show you how we can use it. And if you are not familiar with this function, we have already created a video on this DEX function. So you can go and check out our DEX tutorial series or there you will find the video. Its syntax is pretty simple. Over here you can see that first you have to write your DEX function name, which is treat as, then your expression which is the expression that generates the set of column to be remapped. And now it comes the column name, which is an attribute and which is repeatable. And this is the name of the output column. So enough all those talking. Now we are going to see our measures and how we can use them while filtering out the measure using a slicer. So generally what I want, I want to make my data quickly sliced by the slicer and I can get that data quickly and easily where multiple items are being selected through the slicer. So how to do that? As you can see on your screen, right now you will see three cards over there and there is a slicer on your right hand side where I have selected three months, January, February and March. Don't go over the order of these months. It can be sorted out. I have already created the videos over there how you can sort out your month name so you can go and check that out. But here our main concern is regarding the two new DEX functions that we are going to use and how we can filter a measure using my slicer. As you can see on your screen right now there are the three cards over there and these three different cards are using three different measures. So let me show you one by one. If I'll come under my fields pane, over here I have a table named sales and then I have a table named date. Both are connected and let me show you the model as well. This model is pretty simple. There is a sales table which is my fact table and there is a date table which is my dimension table connected through the date. And this date you can see over here. Now when I come back over here, I have one measure which I call total sales and over here you can see that it's nothing but it's using just one dex function sum and it's calculating the total sales amount over that table for all the time periods. Then I have another sales measure over here I'm calculating sales 
the same measure, which is my total sales, but I'm filtering out using treat as dex function over here. And here I'm using three months, Jan, Feb and March, and I'm hard coding them. So what should happen when I select my month name from my slicer, which is my month name slicer, then my sales should be equal to this sales and one card should not affect where I'm using this hard coded value one. So over here, this one, the right hand side card actually using the sales where I have hard coded my values, which you can see over here once again. So my total sales is coming 5.52 million. However, if I just uncheck any of those values from the slicer, this won't affect the other two cards are gonna get affected or sliced down. So I'm gonna explain you this one as well, which is on the top where I am using concatenate X function. And this one is basically here I'm using total sales, which is getting affected by all the values that I selected through my slicer. But what if I would like to use my treat as function over there? which is going to increase the performance of this one. So what to do in this case rather than hard coding. So that's what we are going to do it over here. And it should reflect the same value, whatever months I'm going to select over there. So for that, we are going to create a new measure over here and you can have a look how I'm going to achieve that. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click over here and create a new measure. I'm going to write over here sales using treat as dex. Now this is going to start with our dex function name and over here the very first is our calculate dex function and in this one we are going to write our expression. So the very first expression that we are going to write would be our measure basically and which is our total sales. So either you can write your measure as it is or you can again write your same measure formula over here which is i'm gonna write over here which is my sales amount sum sales amount you can close it now you have to apply treat as before that when we apply treat as we were hard coding the values but i don't want to hard code any values i want to make it dynamic so whenever i select anything it should behave accordingly so what i can do over here i can again come i'll write over here treat as so you can select from here too and you can see the definition on the top of that. So for that first I need my values. I'm going to explain you this as well why I'm going to use another text expression which is values. So you can select here and in the values I need my month name. Why I need my month name because I'm selecting all my month names from my slicer. So here we can do that. So I'm going to use my month name. So let's select this is my month name you can close this over here and as we mentioned in the treaters you need to give your column name as well so this is going to be your column name over here now you can close this and close this so that's all this is what you have to write if you have to use your slices values dynamically into your measure name and we are calculating over here sales so whenever i select any values from my month name column it should get reflect over here so Let's close this one or you can just hit enter over here. So now what I can do, I'll just copy my this card over here. And once I copy this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this sales using treat as text function. Just place it over here and you will see both values are matching exactly. Now, if I select month gen, you will see both are same total sales and sales using treat as text function. Then if I'm going to select February and March, then you will see all three values are same. And also this card value is going to show me the months that I've selected. So how I'm going to do that, how I'm actually going to use this first card, which is going to show me the selected months. So basically it's just for the illustration of concatenate X, whatever values I'm selecting from my month name slicer, it's going to appear over here. So if I'm going to come in my selected months, measure over here you can see i'm using values values is gonna give me my distinct values and it's gonna return me a table so if i'm gonna go on this one you will see i'm using first concatenate x dex function then i'm using values which is going to return me a table and then inside that i'm using my column name 
which is going to be my iterator and then there is a delimiter over here so that's how i'm using my concatenate x dex function to just to show you how and which values i'm selecting and whatever is appearing over here so it's just for the demonstration purpose there is nothing specific role for this one over here but our main purpose was to use the treat as dex function over here and use that inside a measure so that we can dynamically use the values whatever we are selecting from the month name slicer and it's gonna give us the corresponding sales values so guys i hope this video is going to be very helpful for you in case of future you want to utilize these dex functions and you want to use the selected values inside your measures and if you are over here for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest power updates and videos